Today we'll create one data pipeline that will copy data from a normal MySQL database to S3 and we'll be designing it uh, directly because we don't have templates from so imagine you are created using an EC2 instance or a generic MySQL you don't have that templates here so we'll create one and we'll try that you can put a name So we'll be running into a schedule. Uh, you can make it one time or, but I prefer having these are kind of logs which I am trying to work on. So I I'd keep it uh, on a schedule. So it can be scheduled every one week, starting from see. Imagine I have old data, so I'm giving one old date, and let's make it. And you can make it never ending so that it will keep recurring every week. And if you want it ending, you can give it a date. I'm giving 2017 first February, no. second. Okay, whatever. I think I'll give it six, seven months. You can enable it in case in case if you are running to errors you can uh, enable it disable it as per your requirement uh, i not be running this i have already tried this and this is a demo so i am not going to run this so disabling it you can use the default i am role i am using it i have one already created for this so you can or you can go and create one using custom you can refer the help section on the permissions you might require for the same so if you want a name to be given for the EC2 instances that are going to start up for the same, you can give it my test. So I'm just giving it as a test. You can give anything you want. So let's start building it now. So we have default configuration here, which says every seven days, data pipeline resources, schedule type, cron. And if you want to give the give it a URL, you can mention the logs where it should be going to. You can mention the S3 bucket URL here. And the schedule start time and time, and all those things you mentioned here. So now we might need to add a MySQL data node to this one. So we'll be copying the data from MySQL. So we create a MySQL data node. We can. Rename is uh, easy to MySQL data. Your type will be MySQL data node. It runs every see, table name. Table name can be your database table name. So it may be database dot table name. Schedule type time series because I'm using them. You can also mention the select query. In my case, uh, so here I have uh, typed the query. It says select start from database dot table name where date time stamp it can be the column where we have the timestamp is between schedule start and schedule end. So since I am taking seven days. Uh, schedule so every seven days that I will copy so that's a select query we have and we need a database type to be mentioned here for that database we don't have a database defined but type of database so we we'll create a new database there is a default database so we give it a name Type will be JDBC database, JDBC driver class, and the 
connection string you have to mention that will be your IP address or, or DNS calling the port number where MySQL is running the password username and if you want you can add JDBC properties here which like uh, multiple queries is equal to enabling the multiple multiple queries so now we have to add a copy activity so we just rename it and schedule type time series output we are going to put it to s3 so we have to create a new data node so this is our output s3 so let's say s3 data node and also this one it runs on an ec2 instance so this will be our ec2 instance that this will be running We can give the instance type, for example, M1 large. So uh, I have paused the video in between and I was just filling in the details. So I'd be giving you this uh, a JSON file exported in case you guys want to try it out or modify this one of your own. So you can try that. I'd be leaving the link to this JSON in comments. So you know the configurations we applied seven days cron job scheduled time in time we have given database connection properties driver properties and the url how you are giving username password options we have defined our uh, select query here uh, how it is going to select between the scheduled start time and end time it's a function which takes the uh, running time so and easy to instance will which on which the copy activity will be running on every seven days terminate after this one if you want other options like schedule type you can say time series or we can give those additional options as per your requirement this is a copy activity it runs on time series it runs from mysql data node uh, it, it takes input from here gives output to S, s3 data node runs on an ec2 instance so in s3 we have said it will go to your bucket my directory year month day day hour and time so that format be easy for me to partition it identify it that's the reason why i have put it that way so you can now save it it says login log uri you can you can give this optional and I didn't want to mention that that's the reason you can change and go and add it here so once that is done you will not have any errors now you can start using it by activating it I'll be exporting this as a JSON and sending this JSON file in case it makes the this much steps easier and you can just change the custom uh, custom values in this and you can start using it thanks for watching thank you again